Welcome back to another comic breakdown on the channel and today we're looking at Marvel Spotlight number 5 which is the first appearance of Ghost Rider. This one might be a comic that goes under the radar for many VV users. So let's take a look at the drop and this comic significance. So these are the different variant covers that we'll be getting for this comic. From left to right is the ultra rare, the uncommon, the common, the rare and the seeker rare. Of course the common cover is the same as the physical comic and looks really cool framing Ghost Rider in the middle of the, the comic cover on his bike. Out of these covers, the thing that surprises me the most is how the Seeker Rare looks. I don't buy Seeker Rares anyway so it doesn't really affect me that much but I feel like a better image could have been used rather than having Johnny Blaze on it. I would prefer to have seen the Ghost Rider in an action pose or something like that. This drop taking place on Monday the 20th of February at 8am Pacific Time. This is a standard number of editions for the rarities across the board for 30k edition drops so nothing different there. And we have exclusive covers done for the Rare and the Ultra Rare by Valerio Gian Giordano and these look stellar. I will pick one of these up if they are somewhat affordable so I am excited to have one of these in my collection. Probably being the Ultra Rare. Such a dynamic cover and it showcases how badass the Ghost Rider is in such a cool action pose. Quickly before we move on to talking about the comic itself, I want you guys know that I have a spreadsheet linked down in the description with all the resources that I have used and would recommend when it comes to VV. These people are creative content that really helped me navigate the BB space and you can find links to the YouTube channels, websites, as well as the Twitter account so definitely check out their content. Of course the Star's comic is Johnny Blaze as the Ghost Rider, a popular comic character. I'll be getting on to information about him in a second. Mephisto listed here is also known as Satan in the Marvel Universe and many MCU fans may have heard many theories bringing Mephisto into the action. It definitely seems that Marvel is teasing viewers with Mephisto references, but none of those theories have come to fruition as of yet. Last but not least, Roxanne Simpson is the daughter of the couple that adopted Johnny Blaze after he becomes orphaned. She's also his love interest and marries Johnny down the line. So the question you guys may be asking yourself is, who is Johnny Blaze, the Ghost Rider? He is a fan performer who literally made deal with the devil to save his father's life. As a result of this deal, he transformed into the Ghost Rider every night and uses his curse for the greater good. They're having Ghost Rider movies released and he has appeared in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show but they have si since been retconned, meaning he hasn't appeared in the MCU yet. There may be rumors floating around that Norman Reedus may play the Ghost Rider and Keanu Reeves has been thrown into the, the rumor mill as well. A 9% rated comic was for a swapping 74 grand which is, which is crazy. Just goes to show how important he is to comic fans out there, especially the die-hard Marvel ones. This character does have high MCU potential too, since Kevin Feige has publicly said that he wants the Ghost Rider to appear in the MCU at some point. Rumors even say that he's in the next Doctor Strange movie coming out in May, but regardless of that, he's coming at some point. Recent sale for a 9.8 CDC graded comic went for 264 grand recently, which is crazy, and especially since at a fair market value of 220 grand. This will only rise as time goes on, especially with the character eventually popping up in the MCU. These are all the resources that I used to put together this video, so if you want to check them out, whether you want to look at the Ghost Riders origin story or more about the comic itself, it'll all be down in the description if you guys want to do some further research. The market has bounced back a little since the Aston Martin drop, but comics are still getting disrespected on the market. Despite may end up being around the 10 gem mark, I think this one was set at around 14. Many of the VV influencers on Twitter are hyping this one up a little and people are seeing that this comic is a good investment, which I agree with. People are a bit more educated on this one within the last few, so I think it will be around 14 with the uncommon setting slightly higher. The exclusive covers on this one are amazing and I see the rare being 39 with the ultra rare around probably 92. The secret rare is difficult to predict, but I think it will be pushing the 300 gem boundaries. This was definitely a hold, being the first appearance of a very popular comic character. This one may go under the radar for many but it will definitely be noticed by collectors. With high MCU potential, this one can only get more sought after. Personally, I'll be picking up a common for my collection and probably a few more for investment purposes. And I would love to have an ultra red too and I hope that they are at a good affordable price when the market opens. A 
appreciate everyone taking the time to watch the video and I hope that you've learned something and enjoyed the process. Once again, thanks for watching and good luck with the drop.